Good morning, and welcome to another episode of MuscleModelCars.com. This is AJ. Uh, Happy New Year for those who have, haven't been over to see us in a while. And uh, I finest, finally finished the uh, 442 Oldsmobile 442. So, um, I guess I'll start with telling you what I had to do. This was normally a hard top, and um, I had to cut it, cut the hard top off, turn it into a convertible, and uh, right here I had to sand it, even it out on the edges over here. So if you if you have a kit that comes as a hard top, it, it isn't too uh, hard to. Um, I guess if you take the time to convert it into a convertible. They actually, this kit, this 442 W30 came with a uh, convertible uh, alternative, but the thing about it is you got to turn it into a convertible because it comes as a hard top. The body of it comes as a hard top. So uh, the first thing I did was uh, when I took it out, I painted all the parts. Um, going to try and show you what it was but um, basically we started with the body itself cut off the top here I had to make I made a couple of mistakes with the uh, this here I should have left it alone uh, going across the uh, windshield the top portion of it has a chrome look to it so if I was to do it again I basically would have done it as a um, left this one piece like I had it but I kept fooling around with it and I ended up breaking it off so I had to just you know plaster it sand it and get it back as best I could but this is mine so I don't really you know care so basically we uh, took this guy here as you can see we kind of have a situation where you want to some of your wheels will still trying to uh, let them dry but I want to say it's been a couple of weeks so I wanted to get it to you and show it to you so basically we uh, after we sanded it and everything we painted it gave it a nice little red look at it uh, red color for the body if you look on the um, website you'll see that it has the uh, this looks like a, the exact vehicle that was on in a showroom that I, uh, I took the picture of it and everything. So I did it like that, okay? Um, I still gotta have the uh, two uh, emblems for the Oldsmobile, the rockets, they go on the front and the back. So I'm gonna have to uh, put that on there later. But what, what I wanted to show you is how we did all of this. So this is where we're at with it. Uh, nice painted red, uh, put a few stickers on it. Uh, this is uh, by far the uh, most tedious type of uh, uh, kit I've done, uh, but it looks nice when you get it. Uh, when you get it all kind of finished, it'll look nice. You know, you can touch up all this stuff over here, the um, painting and everything on the edge over here. I could make that white. I just want to show it to you, but uh, this these wheels uh, the, the rims itself were all chrome I had to paint it same color as the body kind of make it more realistic um, front grille I painted black got the full 42 badging on it um, and just to uh, uh, put the spoiler on there just to kind of give you guys a quick look at it and how it looks I wanted to show you how you can turn something that's a hard top into a convertible, but you have to be, uh, where's the bottom part? You have to be patient with it, okay? Put your um, uh, stripes on it and everything, racy stripes. Um, it's a nice look, nice little look. Uh, you see the uh, interior here. 
uh, th these were decals right in here uh, that uh, I had to put on. Okay, as you can see, put it all on there. Uh, got a white interior, top to bottom. Although the floor we did as a uh, we did the inside there where the stick shift did there, and the steering wheel and everything over here. The middle console right there. Uh, we painted red, red carpet, and a red um, convertible. Uh, when the convertible comes up, where it will wear, you know, the rear window will be. It's painted it black, so we did that. Um, put the door handles on, the sport mirrors, both on both sides. Uh, got the plates on there. The dual exhaust. The name 442 came from, uh, as the people who know about cars or everything, <clears throat> you know, 442 is a, uh, you know, a, a four-speed manual transmission. Four barrel carburetor and dual exhaust, 442. This really is a Cutlass Supreme. I do believe in 71 they gave it its own uh, tagging uh, as far as a uh, name as coming out as a 442. And it also had the, uh, underneath the bottom here, you'll see the fender wells. It's made in red. They, I do believe they did this because they turned it into like fiberglass, uh, plastic, uh, under here it wasn't metal, like in, <clears throat> on a Cutlass Supreme, to give it a more speed off, off the line. Uh, so it kind of gave it, added uh, maybe, I don't know, a, I want to say you gained about a shorter time span in a quarter mile of about two to three seconds, maybe two to four seconds. I can't really remember. But that, that came from this here being turned into, I'm gonna have to take this hood off because it's gonna fall uh, right under here. It would have been fiberglass in the front of it, okay? And then also we had, uh, we painted the, uh, the gas tank, the fuel tank, red as well uh, we kept everything kind of sil silver more uh, aluminum look under here for the uh, uh, muffling system going up to the head uh, uh, exhaust manifold and then uh, headers or whatever that you might have up under there on a real one and then uh, so basically you see the, the, the badging here it says 442 w30 that was the that style that what uh, when you I knew you had that you'd see these red fender wells here, which were uh, more fiberglass. <clears throat> they weren't metal like back here. And as you can see, this tire here, the weight of it wasn't dry. But I can just kind of, when I'm done with you guys, I'll just tilt it back and take it off until it dries fully. And then this front one too. So. I had to prop it up in the air, but I wanted to give you guys a kind of a nice look of it, see what it looks like, uh, how we did it all. It took, so, it took a little time, but the most of it was the biggest problem, I want to say, well, not the problem, but time consuming was the um, uh, making this a convertible. <coughs> so <coughs> if you look, look at this here. It's just regular, nice looking uh, that you would see in a regular car. No, it doesn't have a blower on there or anything like that. It just has the full engine. You see the water hoses. You see the um, uh, the master cylinder. Everything we tried to keep it, in, and I think this was called the blue. This uh, the block in the engine is uh, was blue, and I forget magnificent blue or something like that is what what they had for it but here it is we put some stickers on right here uh they came with the packet stickers right here put some stickers on the window and uh, the sock the visors up here okay um of course you can see the stick in the middle there uh wood grain look uh and it's a really uh neat looking color 
<coughs> for the uh, for the vehicle itself. If you look at it, uh, it has all the uh, markings of uh, what the real one would have. And if you go to the website musclemodelcars.com, uh, this here got to be tightened up a little bit. Um, I just did that last night because it was all chrome. I thought about leaving it that way. Then I said, Nah, I'll turn it into black <coughs> so it'll look more realistic. And then these here I painted because these were all chrome. And I said, we're going to make it look real, uh, like the real vehicle would look if it came off the sim assembly line like that. Okay. And, of course, you got your uh, hoses there red. And then you got all your <coughs> uh, engine uh, compartment uh, components, air filter, um, actually air can. Uh, air conditioning portion of it uh, going over here going right here going into there all the piping and the hoses and all of that we did tried to make it <clears throat> as accurate as possible and then uh, just to, to uh, just give it a better look <clears throat> so this is what we've done we're finished with this one you can touch it up if you want to uh, if I wanted to, I could uh, do some more things with it, but I'm going to let the wheels dry as usual. For those who have seen some of them, you notice how I always show it to you and the wheels sometimes aren't all the way uh, done. But, they, you know, some, sometimes they, uh, <clears throat> they'll be dry when I uh, broadcast. But for the most part, this is a finished look of it, um, minus the little small little... Uh, things uh, the dual exhaust you got the four speed in here full uh, a full barrel carburetor in there and then a dual exhaust okay so that makes it a four four two and that's where the name came from and uh, generally it's just the cutlass supreme for the most part uh, but it was a uh, you could tell the difference with it when you uh, when it turned to a 442. The red fender wells up front gave it its uh, distinction as being a 442, and a little bit faster than uh, off the line than a Cutlass Supreme because you took the metal out of the fender wells and made it fiberglass. Of course, that makes the vehicle lighter, and therefore it little bit more arrow uh, faster okay and it's a four-speed transmission uh, with the stick there basically you can see that stick 442 in the middle and then the full barrel carburetor and then the dual exhaust 442 um, and that's pretty much all it is it's just the Headache I had was the uh, cutting off of the hard top and sanding it uh, evenly to get the t to get the convertible look where it looked like it, the kit came that way, okay, and to get it to fit inside the uh, the body and here with the uh, insides of the door and everything. I think we did pretty good for my first time ever turning one into that without all the necessary uh, tools and everything. Uh, so next time, what I think I'm going to try to do is a, uh, I want to say a, I got three choices and I'm not sure which one I want to do. I went out and brought <coughs> uh, a Pinto and brought a, truck an old truck it's not a muscle truck at all and i was thinking about uh, that one and then uh, so the pinto uh, mo uh, pin uh, an old truck like a 37 or something like that and then there was a third one i brought oh a pickup truck so i never did a truck before so i don't know um, i don't know how that's going to go i'm not a truck kind of guy because I've, I've never had one uh, I've had I've had like a uh, Ford uh, Blazer that I've kind of uh, 
dressed up and made it look pretty nice back in the, about the year 2000, but I never had a pickup truck and I never tried to do one. So I may see what I can do with that and get away from the muscle car set for a minute. Uh, this is for a special uh, uh, person here who I did this for, uh, who asked me to do it. This is it. Hope you like it. And um, I guess we'll uh, see which one I decide on. I, I, I'm really leaning toward doing the uh, the Pinto because I had one also. I had uh, quite a few cars. But, uh, but the Pinto I had when I was, uh, I want to say in the, before I moved, to, uh, moved out of town, out of Chicago, I moved and uh, I was in a Pinto and it, the floorboards and everything were gone in it. But that car ran. I think I bought it for about $200. But uh, it, uh, it lasted. The engine was fine. The body was falling off, but it's like the Flintstones car, basically. Uh, so, so anyway, I'm making on to do that. Uh, trying to think of what color I would do it. I think I'm gonna give it a. Uh, I'm either gonna give it a purple or a blue. Okay, I'm not sure. And then I might turn it into a muscle pinto, or and just so it's not just like the regular box. I think I might want to make it a muscle. Muscle car pinto, and I got some parts, and I may just kind of go wild with it. And this is the uh, the full effect of the Cutlass Supreme or slash 442 uh, Oldsmobile Cutlass uh, four speed transmission, four barrel carburetor. And a dual exhausts right there. Very sharp car. I really like it. And the new, uh, the one, the real one I saw was really, uh, really pretty. It's a very pretty car. It was a, it was a brighter red than this one here. This is more like a, I want to say a, a fire engine red kind of uh, color here. But the other one was like a really bright uh, metallic red and you'll see a picture of it on the uh, on the website but don't for forget to hit the subscribe button uh, at the bottom of this page here or wherever it is I'm not sure uh, on uh, YouTube and uh, don't forget to su subscribe look at some of the ones we did uh, if you want to make some suggestions or whatever uh, I'd appreciate it um, and then we'll go from there. Uh, I think it's going to be the, the Pinto. I think I'm going to go ahead and uh, resurrect it and uh, take care of that. But this is it. Uh, Oldsmobile 442 W30. And remember the W30, uh, you can tell the difference because it's got the red fender wells up here that are fiberglass on the real vehicle. Uh, you know, they're not uh, metal. As they would be in the 442, I mean in the uh, Cutlass Supreme, which what is the same? It's the same vehicle as the most, as uh, a 442 for the for the most part. But it gave it its own badging, I think, in 72, 71 or 72, uh, and with the the badging, they turned it into a 442. Uh, okay, so thank you very much for joining us on MuscleModelCars.com. And uh, we'll see you next, uh, I want to say in a few days, possibly I'll show you the, which one I chose. I said the Pinto, but I don't know. It may be the Pinto, it may be the pickup truck, or it may be, or it may be a, um, a old 37, I think, uh, Ford police vehicle. So we'll see what happens. Uh, hope you like it. Hope it did. I did it some justice. Uh, again, this was kind of a weird type of thing for me. I've never tried to convert something into a convertible, but I, I don't think it did. We didn't do too bad on it. It could have been a lot worse.
could have been a lot better. But uh, at the end of the day, uh, if you see this coming down the street, you'd be a very, very, uh, uh, it, it grabs your attention with the color itself and the uh, all the details of it and everything. So, and I think this one did a, I want to say a full point, Four point six seconds. I took. Uh, I wrote it down, but anyway, in in, in a um, in a quarter mile. So uh, when it's and they did something with the tuning to and they gave it an extra because it was originally uh, uh, not a six. It was over a six second car, uh, or it was like an eight point something seconds zero to sixty, but I think they got it down to. With the with the changing of the, the uh, fiberglass under the fender rails, cutting off some of that weight, and then uh, doing something with the uh, uh, I want to say with the block, uh, with, 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 or I don't know if it was the camshafts or whatever. They changed something, and they got a couple of more seconds out of it. But that was back in the seventies. I you had to do your research on it if you really want to know what happened, but it was either the crank, it wasn't the crankshaft, I think it was the uh, camshaft, I think they changed some things, or maybe even the, uh, the uh, uh, rock, uh, rocker, uh, rocker arms and all that stuff up top, uh, they changed some of it to, to buy it a couple of seconds. But anyway, that's for racing though, uh, I mean the coming off the line is still pretty good. I think it was a little bit over eight seconds, a zero to sixty, and they were they managed to get by it a couple more seconds by doing something to the engine, as well as the fender wells turning them into fiberglass instead of uh, metal underneath the front tires, then over the front tires, up under here in the red. That's how you knew it was a, a W30. These were red. As you can see okay all right and with that let you kind of look at it right there how the engine looked kind of gave it the special little details for it because we kind of wanted to make it more realistic as possible Just so you know, very nice vehicle, a lot of detail in there, and very cool car, okay? So, we'll see you next time, and we will bring you, we'll make a decision on how we want to do this, um, uh, next uh vehicle it may it's going to be either that truck police car or it's going to be the um pinto and that pinto was a coke something a coker i think they called it and i thought about it i seen someone else did uh has done it before i think his was purple kind of really pretty uh so i got i'm gonna put my twist on it it's the same vehicle he did it, uh, I do believe his, I forget his name, uh, his uh, tag was something like 1589 or something on uh, on YouTube, but he had did one, and it was pretty sharp uh, paint job on it. So I'm not uh, going to get all deep with that. Um, right now I'm in the middle of a lot of different things, and I just wanted to kind of show you guys what this looked like. Uh, as a convertible because all the ones I've seen have been hard tops I tried to find a convertible kit for it couldn't find one so I decided to make one myself so there we go this is this is it and uh, you know a couple things can be cleaned up on here but we don't worry about that too much uh, it's for me it's not for sale so I will 
be happy with this guy right here. Um, the other parts uh, I want to tell you about the difficulty uh, with it would be the um, positioning of this convertible if you try to turn something into something that it wasn't. And then messing with the uh, windshield area, cutting this part across here. I mean, once you get it cut, leave it alone. I didn't. I kept trying to shave it skinnier and skinnier, and I ended up putting too much pressure, and I popped this part up here where the visors are. So just if you got something that you're doing, alternate, uh, uh, making it something that it wasn't before, be happy with it, and don't put too much focus on getting it perfect. It's for you. Put it on your shelf or whatever. But, uh, and people try to compete with that. Uh, I wasn't trying to compete. I was just trying to be too perfect. So you got two extremes. You know, you want to try to make it look pretty, yeah. But you also don't want to uh, mess with something that's good enough. Because then you end up making more work for yourself is what I did with this thing right here. Where the visors are. I had this uh, plaster it, uh, sand it cut it, recut it, re uh, prime it, uh, then repaint it, and that was, that, that just was a whole lot that I did when I should have just left well enough alone with this up here. I had it cut nice and even, but I wanted to make it just a little bit more uh, thinner, and I should have left it alone. So, word to the wise, leave well enough alone, especially if you're altering something regular, you know, natural uh, form, especially with plastic. Uh, don't get too critical of it. And then, uh, what else? Uh, the insiding of it was uh, fine. I didn't have a problem with that too much. Um, the uh, white, you got to be careful because it gets dirty real quick. You don't use too much glue. Um, the bumpers, the front bumper was fine. Uh, the rear bumper, no problem with that. Um, this, the striping from front to back is one piece, but what it will do is break on you. I managed to get them both on there pretty good without breaking it. But these, some, when something's from here all the way to here, and you're trying to put it on, you end up breaking it by trying to put it into position. So you got to be very careful with that. Okay, and then. Uh, I let the tailpipes dry upside down because they want to be moving when you put glue on them. So you got to take your time and let one thing dry before you move on to the next thing. Okay. And I don't think the uh, dashboard here had decals in here. As you can see, all of this wood grain look was uh, decals. Not too much of a problem there but it, it does have uh, you know with the radio in there and everything it uh all of that was fine you know you just have to be patient okay so what else do we have a problem the spoiler a couple times i had to position it correctly um and then the uh, uh the fins of it and everything or the supports of the uh Right here of the spoiler, you got to let dry. You really got to let that dry because they will shift on you. Uh, and the mirrors, of course. Always mirrors has always been kind of a problem with me. And then, of course, after everything's said and done, you can clean it up on your own, okay? And uh, like me, I'm still doing it as I'm talking to you. Is Some just don't look uh, straight to me, aerodynamic or position properly, I tend to keep messing with it until I, I got it where I want it. Of course, you got the pin, the pins for the hood and everything right here. You got some that's metal, but they got decals also, okay? So you can do that. And I think for the most part, I did pretty good. And that, and that uh, it can sit on the shelf uh, after I clean it up a little bit more. But uh, thank you all for putting up with it and watching it. And this, again, I say it was for a special person. They know who they are. Appreciate you asking me to do it. And this is what I got for you, okay? And 
enjoy okay um see you next time on musclemodelcars.com all right don't forget to subscribe and check us out on youtube uh and then also uh go to the website and you'll see other um different uh, uh what's coming up next um before we uh get into it okay and the history of things like this if you wanted to find out what i all i was telling you about this all the information the specifications and stuff it'll be posted as i do them okay on the website all right so thank you much and you guys have a good day and thank you for watching us on muscle model cars muscle model cars.com and this is aj saying see you later